A couple of days ago I put out a video about how to enable WordPress real-time debugging. And uh, it's probably about a 20-minute video, so uh, rather than going over that again, I'll just refer you to find that on my video channel. And I'm going to show you an example of what the real-time debugging settings will capture. So I'm, I'm back to uh, uh, Laura Betterly's um, uh, Yada marketing site uh, that's running in my development sandbox. And if you notice here, I'm going to click reload on the plugins page in WordPress and you can see this is clean here. Now watch what happens when I go and um, activate this uh, all-in-one SEO pack pro version. Now this is 1.2 or 1.72 and I looked on their website and the uh, versions up to 2.0 uh, so I'm unsure if if they fix this all these problems or not but here's here's basically um, how you can vet a plugin. So actually I guess there's probably a couple things you ought to do when you're vetting plugins. Is first you got to unzip them and and uh, check for any kind of uh, uh, calls to base decode uh, 64 which is a surefire bet that that um, plugin has got uh, malware that's uh, either been injected um, premeditatively into it or has been injected by some hacker and the developer doesn't even know it. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, the signature of of um, uh, malware. So that's the first thing to check when you download a plugin. The second thing is take a look and see what happens when I activate this plugin. So I'm on, all I'm going to do here is click the activate, and this then is going to reload the activate uh, or the plugin page um, in the WordPress loop. Look at all that nonsense. Now, the problem is, I got no idea what all this effect, all this nonsense is going to be having on um, a particular site. I mean, I, look at all this nonsense here that's spewing out. So basically, this is uh, this is output from uh, the uh, X debug module that I've got Scream turned on, which Scream disables all that uh, PHP uh, nonsense. What, what the heck did they call that? Um, oh, it escapes me right now. It's the it's the the uh, nonsensical at sign operator that suppresses all not notices, warnings, and errors, which is stupid. You should never ever do that. If you've got a notice, warning, or error that's coming out of PHP, you should see it immediately so you can fix it. So my suggestion, look at all this stuff here. Uh, like I say, I got no idea what this, what effect this is going to have on a particular site. So we're going to go back here and disable this nonsense. Uh, deactivate. Well, let's see. We'll try it again. All in one. Deactivate. Did we get it? Oh. Well, now the plugin is having a hard time deactivating. Let's see if I can deactivate it uh, this way. Okay, I've finally um, been able to deactivate it. So, anyway, the point of this is that whenever you, whenever you inject a, um, or you install a new plugin into your WordPress site, that plugin is going to inject a um, potentially large amount of code into your WordPress loop, which is the you know basically just the top to bottom loop that your WordPress site is going through to do things like um, extract data from a database and display it on the uh, screen. So um, the checklist of items to check then would be number one to manually inspect all the code you install make sure it's got no malware in it. 
then the second thing is to make sure you've got uh, xdebug installed and scream turned on and when you activate the plugin uh, make sure that there's no cruff that comes out like you saw there because uh, number number one you have no idea what effect that's going to actually have on your WordPress site number two it's certainly going to slow down your WordPress site because that means that every time through the WordPress loop all those errors have to get generated and even if you've got error suppression turned on they're still getting generated so you know I don't know how many uh, pages of cruft that was um, all that's going to get uh, spit out through the I.O. subsystem in other words whether you see it or not it's still being written to the I.O. subsection and or the subsystem and so even if it's suppressed it's still going through all the overhead of writing it to the I.O. subsystem and so then the next thing to check uh, the third item to check when you're installing a plugin is to first off go to um, uh, W3C go to the validator which is I think uh, validator.w3c.org and check your WordPress site to make sure you've still got validating CSS and validating HTML in other words no syntax errors and go to uh, webpagetest.org and make sure your speed is uh, correct then install the plugin and go back and check both those again in other words check WordPress um, uh, or a web page uh, test.org make sure your speed is correct you haven't introduced some long uh, delays or lag times into your website because of external site assets like images uh, well either local uh, assets that have been associated with the plugin or external access, uh, uh, assets that the plugin is uh, retrieving and using for rendering and also make sure that your HTML and CSS is still correct because if you install a plugin and it you know interjects hundreds of HTML errors into your site um, whatever that plugin does you don't need it because it's going to completely ruin your SEO um, uh, interactions with Google if Google's unable to parse your content so anyway that's the uh, I guess we'll call this the um, the three steps of uh, plugin vetting